What's going on guys, this is Tall Rick with Urban Cow Gaming and I'm here to bring you another mechanism tutorial. This time it is in sodium cooling for your fission reactor. So let's start with the setup here. Alright, so it's the exact on the side of the reactor, um, the reactor ports are configured in pretty much the exact same way. You have your input, your coolant output, and of course your input and output for uh, fuel and waste. So, what you'll need for sodium cooling is a boiler and of course a turbine. Uh, tutorials for both of those are in the playlist which is linked in the description. Alright, so let's set up the tubing. Uh, sodium is considered a gas so you'll need pressurized tubes. So, we have our coolant output here so we're going to send this over to the input of the boiler and that will send the superheated sodium over to the boiler. We'll configure the output of the boiler to be output coolant and that's still going to be pressurized tubes and then we have that go to the input of the reactor. So the sodium is going to exit the reactor superheated, pass through here into the boiler and then come out again and back into the reactor. Now we set up connection to the turbine. So we can see here that this is set to output steam. So steam is of course a gas so we use a pressurized tube and we connect it up to that valve and then the output for water if you so choose the water to be output is going to come through these turbine vents here. You only need one connection so you don't need to do this. It will um, send all of its water out of these tubes um, until it until the tubes fill up and then it'll just disperse through the vents. So we will go ahead and connect the water tube to one of the boilers inputs and that is the complete setup so of course you have to fill this so this is our sodium input so I have a creative sodium tank here uh, usually you get sodium through um, the ore processing process specifically um, passing brine through the electrolytic separator so if you've um, done the ore processing already, then you should be good here. So you'll see here that we have the sodium set up. And now we'll get some water. And water can be put into the system via an electric pump. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use a creative water item. And we'll let it fill up. Now we have everything necessary here, so we'll just give the reactor some fissile fuel. Okay, so now we'll run it. Alright, so as you can see, the pressurized tube over here is now filled with, um, or has superheated sodium passing through it, and that's going into here heating the um, water, boiling it off into steam, passing it through into the turbine, and you can see that it's producing a fairly significant amount of energy here. You can see that it's producing quite a significant amount of energy here. So, why would you want to use a so sodium setup? Um, well, interestingly enough, a sodium setup is not actually any more efficient than just a water setup uh, which is in another one of the mechanism tutorials uh, is the standard water setup. The advantage is in the properties of sodium when it comes to cooling. Um, sodium storage is a lot more efficient than say water so storage. So you can see these ultimate water, uh, ultimate mechanical pipes 
Um, we're holding a pretty significant amount of water in it, but it's a long line. And if we compare that to the sodium here, we're, we're also holding a significant amount of sodium in just this short line here, and these are only elite. So that's going to be your main advantage when it comes to sodium cooling, is that you don't need quite as much storage, and that's pretty much the only reason to use sodium that I've found through all my testing. Um, with a reactor similar to this one you see here, um, one uranium ingot produces 22 um, MFE. And it's the same whether you pass it through the boiler with the sodium cooling or with the water cooling. So uh, if anybody f manages to find another reason to use sodium other than it's um, more efficient storage, uh, let me know in the comments. I've, I've done a, quite a bit of testing and I haven't really seen any other reason to use this particular setup. But yeah, that's the sodium setup and uh, uh, in the description is the links to the playlist and to the Mod Creator's Patreon page and also to uh, a download link for the mod itself if you uh, happen to find this video uh, just rolling around. So this has been Tall Rick with Urban Cow Gaming and I'll see you next time. Bye. What's going on guys? You're listening to the uh, end card. This is Tall Rick. I'm just here to remind you that if you like this video, you can go ahead and subscribe if you have any suggestions for other tutorials I can make. Uh, in other Minecraft mods even, you can go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below. We also have a Twitch channel, and the gameplay from that will be ending up in uh, on this channel eventually, in, in terms in a... Uh, archive format and we also have TikTok and Instagram and a Facebook page all of which are under the name Urban Cow Gaming uh, shockingly no one has taken the name Urban Cow Gaming yet so it's all ours baby so I'll just thank you for watching again and uh, don't jump off cliffs it's not good for your health bye